Hello everyone, Rituro here, and this is My Life in Silver League. My opponent today, a level 39 Silver Leaguer by the name of Garfieldster, playing Protoss on Deadwing Ladder Edition. A uh, new map for this new season here, uh, cross-spawning. I believe it's cross-spawning. At the very least, it's a nice easy X, so you know where the spawns are on the map. And let's take a look here. I am the Red Terran in the bottom left-hand corner with the Protoss party hats on. That's right, this was done during the 4th Anniversary Celebration fourth anniversary celebrations, excuse me, for StarCraft 2, and oh, don't those party hats just look delightful. Good for you, SCVs. Over in the top right-hand corner, Garfield Stir is the Protoss player, and look at that. Oh, his probes, they have it too. Oh, that's just delightful. Look at those little party hats. Oh, such party animals, those probes. All right. So it is going to be a TVP on Deadwing here. Let's skip ahead to the good stuff. A pretty standard opening here for me. Got in first fight with downfall by Barracks, as well as for Garfieldster. It's going to be a gateway open after a pylon. Uh, getting the wall in started here with the dropped off supply depot while I go out scouting. Now, since this is a new map, I wasn't entirely 100% whether or not this was a locked cross spawn or not, so I went and checked in the far corner. And it would be a waste of a scouting trip, but at least I knew for sure. Well, over the Garfield, sir, he's got a second gateway on the way, very close to his uh, supply line here. He is preparing for any sort of rush, any sort of uh, uh, early pressure. He is walled in. I'm going to take a long way around to get to him. It's a very, very tight wall in here by Garfield, sir. Already up to 21 workers here, uh, as he can, or at least 18 working, three elsewhere. I have to look at the units tab here. Uh, he does have, no, it is, that's correct, 19 workers plus a zealot. There was that extra supply, that's where that's coming from. First zealot is on the field, heading off to the ramp to watch over things. Meanwhile, back home at Casa del Rotero. Second barracks is on the way, two marines are on the field. Again, pretty standard opening here. Cybernetic score now on the way for Two gate before cyber. Uh, usually you see gate then cybernetic score, so the two gate Interesting play here by Garfieldster, and my poor SCV instantly gets the Zealot welcoming party. That's not very fun. And having seen that, I'm like, okay then, let's uh, let's go for a little walk. And I will see this pylon going down. And will the Zealot catch me? I don't think so. I'm going to see this assimilator as well. So it's all going to be spotted handily. The Zealot is... Seems that the SCV is going to get there. No, the SCV able to sneak past the Zealot. Garfieldster keeps him at the top of the rim. Now he's going to go after him, seeing a chance, and there's the kill for that very, very talented Birthday Zealot. No hat for Birthday Zealot, though, unfortunate. Forge is on the way, as well as Warpgate technology for Garfield, so he's doing exactly what he needs to do. Meanwhile, over at my base, Factory is on the way here after two barracks. No expansions on either barracks here, but with my orbital up and running, was focusing purely on Marines here. I think I was going for a macro. Yes, I was. Macro play. Few minerals wasted as possible as the command center goes down with the factory down after the two barracks. So getting my second base fairly early here, just before the five and a half minute mark. Uh, not exactly early by pro standards, but early by my standards for sure. Uh, also just waiting for that extra little bit of minerals and I have my starport down. So really trying to get up that tech tree as fast as possible. Speaking of tech tree though, Twilight Council is on the way for Garfieldster. So he's not wasting any time either. Twilight Council 2 gateway, a forge, and a cybernetics core. Stalker at number one is on the way here for Garfieldster to join his five zealot buddies. This is a very good opening for Garfieldster. Now, I was cheeky, so that flash of green there. I thought, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to try the good old-fashioned proxy fortress, or proxy uh, factory drop. Is it cheeky? Yes. Does it work? Hardly ever. But was it worth it? Oh, absolutely. It's always worth the try. Always worth the try. It looks like that finally attached to barracks number two, and stim pack is on the way. As the Marines hold the low ground here on the natural on Deadwing. Uh, so hopefully nothing will get through. I mean, we haven't seen any sign that Garfielster wants to move up, though. He is now also expanding to his natural, so I have a slight advantage in the expansion race. Here at income, I am mining at a slightly higher rate. I do have a mule mixed in there, so we'll see what happens when that mule is gone, whether or not that number changes. Uh, I'm still down by five harvesters, though. Gas is slight advantage there for Garfieldster. Uh, his mothership core is on the way now. As for Zealot Charge, so it looks like Garfieldster is going to be going for a primarily Zealot builder, and sure enough, two, four, six Zealots, two Stalkers charge on the way. That's a pretty 
pretty handy or hardy, I should say, hardy uh, ground base army. Mothership Core has arrived. Nearing supply cap is Garfield Sir. He has his warp, warp gate technology done, and the gates are opening. Meanwhile, oh dear, the uh, the factory proxy drop <laughs> as a photon cannon and gateway right at the front here. Garfield Sir not wanting anything to interrupt his uh his expanding. I throw down the reactor for some. Uh, I believe this was a uh, Hellion harass I was going for. Meanwhile, I do have dropships on the way. Very early dropships by my standards. Usually I'm still uh, futzing around with uh, bio well before dropships come into play, but I have the dropships fairly early here, and a Viking here as well for air support. Supply block is alleviated. Shouldn't be in, in any danger of that anytime soon. Uh, uh, optimal mining at the main base, always a good thing. Missile turrets on the way for detection and defense, also always a good thing. Uh, just starting to get this second base really uh, mining at full uh, potential here. Very slow on the SCV builds. As always, one thing to work on is making sure I spend that money as fast as I can. And uh, yeah, definitely should have got more SCVs going here. I'm seeing that now. My own defenses are appearing now as I get a bunker to look over the natural expansion. I'm also having, let's see here, Medivac and Viking, another pair coming out here, more bio, level 1 weapons on the way, third barracks on the way as well, and a second engineering bay, trying to get that double upgrade speed going here. A uh, second starport also on the way, so at least, at least I've learned, I have learned my lesson from past episodes about getting that production capacity up as quick as possible, so that's always a good thing. Meanwhile, over at Casa Factory, <laughs> we have the reactor, we have nothing being built, Four stalkers now on the ground. More photon cannons as Garfield Sir prepares an epic wall in defense. His Stargate is done. He could be going Void Ray, uh, could be going Oracle Harass. I would imagine based on this build, probably Void Ray. So, oh dear, the uh, these probes here. <laughs> they are indeed rallied, but they are stuck and oh, they have no way to get out. Oh no, Garfield Sir, you've walled in too successfully. He is completely and totally maxed out on mining, and now he's just wasting probes. He needs to get a um, he needs to get a robotic facility and just start transporting the units out of there. Two more simulators on the way, more probes, and he's got to go wondering why are these probes not arriving at my nexus? Oh dear, oh dear, Garfield. So meanwhile, a pair of Hellions on the field. There's the warp prism. There it is. That should get those probes out of their purgatory. See, do these Hellions, are they going to try and move out and scout here? Or are they just going to wait for uh, their friends? Combat shields and level 1 armor on the way as well. Banshees, trying to keep that good mix, that good army mix together here. No tanks. Just Marine Marauder, Medivac, two Vikings, and now Banshees for that air support. Uh, I've got my own idle worker there, so I can't really uh, poke fun at Garfieldster too much as I approach my next supply block. Garfieldster anticipating his has two pylons on the way for a very epic defense. Now, there we go. Now! The probe situation has been rectified for Garfieldster. And now all of his probes, all eight of them, oh my goodness, what a... All that mining time wasted. Horrible. Anyway, I am floating actually a ton of money here. Ready what am I doing? Off. What am I doing exactly? Oh, I'm preparing to expand my third base. That's what I'm doing. Well, that's all well and good. That spends money, and sure enough, Void Rays now on the way here for Garfieldster. One at least, two Stargates being built, and two more Gateways, three Stargates being built, as well as two Gateways, so Garfieldster ready to ramp up his production. Meanwhile, these scouting Hellions are in the absolutely wrong area of town, are instantly shot to pieces. But at least now I know what's going on. The scan reveals everything they need to know. Stargates are there, more of everything. And there is a large empty spot right in the middle here. Uh, undefended. This is all defended. Decently defended, but nothing over here which could be problematic. And there is a turret defense at what is now my third base. A fourth base, I should say, is there. So I have gone, I have doubled my base count. Which will hopefully uh, inspire me to build more SCVs. Oh, there we go, I'm doing that now. Tech lab being added onto starport number three as the Banshee count begins to climb. Still no cloaking though. Well, do I try again for more Hellions, or is that that's the end of that nonsense? I believe I decided that was the end of that nonsense. As base number four is almost complete here. 
Ah, uh, here we go, more starports. Having seen what I've seen, I decided the answer is more starports, and certainly more production facilities never hurt anyone. Five starports now at the main base to try and get some air superiority. More gas is going to be needed for that, though, and there it is, the gas now. I'm surprised I haven't put the orbitals up yet. Second forge now on the way here, as the first forge is madly working away on level one shields. Uh, interesting if this forge doesn't go for armor or weapons, or perhaps weights and sinks them up. One void ray is on the field, uh, despite having a very large amount of minerals uh, floating here. Uh, Garfield Star has not done anything with them so much. Except many gateways, though. Many, 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 many gateways. Uh, whoops, that was the wrong button. Eh, <laughs> uh, good. Uh, nothing horror. That's all fine. Good. Misclick, misclick. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, structures, there we go. So he's currently sitting on... Eight photon cannons. Uh, four warp gates. That's for sure. Ah, now here we go. Now the gateways are upgrading themselves. Six warp gate now, plus two more gateways that will be upgraded. Eight gateway in total. Pretty stellar there for Mr. Garfieldster. Meanwhile, back home, I got ravens on the way, marines, widow mines now coming out, banshees, vikings, more refineries, spending that money in large bursts because micro apparently is for other people. Oh, but Garfield's decided he's heading up, he moves out. The widow mines bury. Is it in time? It is for one of them. Bam! And bam! Uh, one kill there for that Widow Mine, one kill for that one, so two kills sold for the Widow Mines. Certainly not as much as they would have liked, though it is enough to blunt Garfieldster's advance, as he now has an Oracle on the way, I'm guessing for his own worker harass, as well as an Observer, no doubt, to kill off those pesky, pesky Widow Mines. Meanwhile, the factory survives and will move out, uh, another Cybernetics Chrome for Garfieldster. Not sure what the purpose of the double is here. Ah, uh, here's the forge, level 1 armor and level 2 shields. Uh, no level 1 weapons yet for Garfield's, a bit of a surprise there. Uh, level 1 air armor is done. Could be going for level 1 air weapons, I guess, but he doesn't, I'm not sure what the point of the second cyber card was, to be honest with you. Meanwhile, I've decided, okay, that's a big army, let's just ignore it entirely. This is something you rarely see from me, an attempt at a doom drop. We've loaded up marauders, marines, everything we can pile in. Air support is on the way in the form of banshees, a raven for detection. The factory has survived and is rebuilding the reactor as the nexus is on the way here for Garfieldster. And while the... Oh, here comes the doom drop. This doom drop, though. Slowly moving out. Making sure that everything is just so. And now here it goes. The Doom Drop moving into position, juking left, juking right, finding the photon cannons, not caring one bit. Have, don't even need floating on the Banshees. Run right in the middle of it, and there is the unload. The army is way out of position. Everybody's scrambling through these choke points upon choke points to get back. Oh, it's not going to end well here. Down goes that pylon. The Oracle not long for the world. The Seeker Missile from the Raven does go out. And it will launch, boom, goes the Seeker Missile into absolutely nobody in because that uh, low grade force defeated. But the Banshees are proving their worth here, as is the Stimmed Marines. It's a Doom Drop spectacular. Garfield's army is absolutely crushed. The Blinking Stalkers trying to get out of the way here. They will build, bait the Vikings over to the Photon Cannon, which is a good call there. Now, Garfield's reason up to realize he needs to do something, warps these Zealots as some last ditch defense. But the uh, uh, impressive mineral line wall in has been broken. The Vikings finally do land and they will now go to town on Garfield to face four Ravens flying in here, providing that wondrous Raven support like only Ravens can. The Raven actually nearly dying to a photon cannon. But the uh, auto turrets are down and they will contribute to this kill here. This base is pretty much all but Kaputski. Uh, so it's a nice photon cannon defense here to stir for Garfieldster, but he's had enough. He knows when he's been beaten. GG for me. Actually, though, he didn't even say GG. How impolite. How very rude. 
<laughs> oh, more Weedle Mines wobbling their way over you, little scoundrels. So, a successful Doom Drop. Rarely seen, though my goodness, why is it rarely seen? I should really be doing this more. It's just another little slice of my life in Silver League. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you've seen, please be sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Subscribe to me on YouTube, youtube.ca slash Steel Swords. And, of course, on Twitter, at that Guy. Once again, my name is Rotoro. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.